Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're back with the Fixing Fan Builds videos and uh, here's what we got today. This build was submitted by... I already forgot the name actually. You know what? <laughs> you win some and you lose some. Alright, this one was submitted by EarPods. Alright, their name was EarPods. So, we're gonna be fixing it up today and uh, I've already grabbed some stuff. So, there was actually some good meshes in here. For example, the grass is a good mesh. We have these which are pretty good. So I grabbed that and then I grabbed the surfboard, the shark fins. A lot of the meshes that they have in this are actually gonna be really good and very reusable. One thing I did make is uh, they have these and they're just straight. I made a new one of those that has a curve at the bottom. So it kind of goes out just to give a little more shape. And I took all the meshes is me meshes. Yes, I took all the meshes and resized them. We do need to work on this boat a little bit. It looks like they kind of uh, like, I don't even know what happened. Like, did they just fill it in in studio? Like, what's what's wrong with it here? Like, um, okay, so nothing's actually wrong with the boat. They just needed the inside, I guess. I have to fix that up a little bit, but it's not a big deal just scaling like this up because there's no reason for it to be that far down this as well uh, if i scale it up it doesn't change anything besides gets rid of it on the side so i think i could just do that with everything that we have here just scaling them up and now there's nothing sticking out of the boat and it's looking pretty good this pole thing here i think that should be like more of a wood color as well uh, i don't know we'll copy this one and then just darken it like so looks good to me all right, so there's the assets. I do want to go ahead and spawn in on their map and see what I think about it from over here. Let me just kind of scale this back to how it was, something like that. And is, is there a spawn pad? There are spawn locations. All right, let's go ahead and spawn in and check it out. All right, so I just spawned in and it seems everything is super, super oversized. I used to build in this style for pretty much one reason. At the beginning, uh, it was just to fill in a map faster. So like if everything was proportional in size, like these eggs, for example, cool, but they take up so little of the map and like this rock and this grass way, way taller than I am. And uh, it just fills in the map really quick, but it wouldn't really be that practical. Like this surfboard could fit a whole family on it. Okay. Like a whole school bus of children could be on this surfboard. So I did resize everything like that. And I noticed they made everything blue, which is very common for underwater builds, but uh, I'm, it's, it's underwater. The, the bottom of the water is like sand, not, you know, blue. So I made this more of a sandy color. And I do have a texture that I want to paste onto here because I'm not a big fan of the one that they originally had. So let me just paste that on. I guess I need to recopy it. I'm going to be using this one right here. Looks kind of sandy. And I'm going to paste it into this base plate. Perfect. And it'll need a little bit of work. We'll probably make these 15 by 15 looks good to me and then our transparency could probably go up to like 0.95 we don't really use textures to make uh it could probably even go up more than that 0.98 i like that we'll go seven something like that cool we don't use textures to uh to decorate like like really harsh details they're just more of a, a minimal thing that you can add on to the top so we got that i'm gonna go ahead start getting a layout done figure out how i'm gonna do that and i'll kind of just do check-ins with you guys as i go all right guys so i don't know how many of you guys know this but i've been an artist for about 13 years and uh as you can see my craft has come quite a far away Anyways, we have a bit of a layout done. I have a shop here, the teleporter here, cell circle here, and eggs here. This is how I want to set everything up. And then all of these will be kind of filled with like rock and stuff like that. These will just be like pathways for players can kind of walk around. And the reds will be like, like crevices in a way, kind of. I don't really know what they're called, but they're going to be awesome. So there's my layout. I have not started on the map itself yet as you can see it's still uh vacant but i did put everything over here on a little base plate and i made a few variations like this so now i think i'll start with putting the rocks down first and get that all done and then i'll check back in after the rocks are all placed because i think that's going to take the longest out of everything all right guys so far so good i did go a little bit away from the sketch but for the most part we're pretty much on par with what we were going with I scattered a bunch of rocks all around just to kind of give it a little bit of a 
a feel, I suppose. Uh, I think this guy should actually come over this one, maybe turn it a little bit, something like that. I, I don't know, because we have, like, from the middle, we just, like, see this, and, like, there's a bunch of open space, and I'm not sure exactly how I want to take care of that yet, since a lot of the times I am trying to get away from, like, this look, like, the, the wall border, and if we have to do it, we have to do it, it is what it is, but, uh, I am trying to kind of get away from that look. I think we'll probably still use their, uh, their portal? Because, I mean, it looks it looks pretty good. Portals. Uh, and then uh, maybe there's signs. We'll see. So let me just copy this. What else do we have right here? Doubled up on that. We have our doors. I don't think we need to double up on those. That seems kind of silly to me. And I'll grab this. So let me just group those together. I wonder why they doubled up instead of just, like, scaling this back. I wonder why it was doubled up. That's kind of strange. Uh, but we're not going to have it doubled. So... We're definitely going to use their teleporter. Uh, I'll need to see the dummy. I do want to add some grass on here as well. Um, probably like on top of these rocks. Maybe even some random plotches down here of grass. I just think it'll help break up the colors even more. And uh, it should look pretty good. I said that the portal was going to be like somewhere over drawing. Uh, we're going to kind of stick with that. Let me go like, like right here. What if we made it like back in here? Something like this. Um, I think I think that'd be pretty cool. So it's it's like part of the surrounding area. Drag this down just a little bit. Rotate this a little bit more. I think this build's going to look sick at the end. It's definitely a lot of work that I'm going to need to do though. Control L to move it on a local axis. I think that's like the term for it, local and global axis. So I think I think we're good on that. And uh, and maybe make this a little bit bigger so it's cutting into the rocks on both sides. Something like that for our portal, guys. Looks good. I'm gonna go ahead, add the grass around, and then check back in with you guys. This should add a lot of color to the map. All right, guys, so the grass, or at least the grass color has been added. It's not like the actual mesh of grass yet. I haven't added those, but the color has been added, and it definitely does pop on the map just a little bit. I've also changed the portal surrounding and bars to copper because underwater, I mean, it just makes sense. It really does. I think this will either go lighter or darker, though. Um, yeah, I think lighter just because it, it pops that color very nicely, so I'll do that. And then copper copper for the actual bars of this looks really good to me. So we're going to keep that like that. Uh, up next, I want to figure out how to add a bit of height diff diff variation. Yep. Yep. Variation. There we go. Height variation because right now the map's just real flat. So I got, I don't really know what I'm going to do about that yet, but that's the next goal. Hey guys, I don't remember what I said I was going to do uh, before I was going to check in again. So I may or may not have gotten it done. And I don't exactly remember the last time I checked in with you guys. So I'm going to go over a few things. I broke the boat in half. Uh, it, it was one mesh, so I just kind of bent them both different ways, and it's both of them them are there. Very, very easy way to make a shipwreck uh, if you have one mesh, and you don't want to, like, go into Blender and, you know, remake your whole mesh. So that's one cool way to do it. I added a cell spot. This will be a chest spot because I just looked over here. They have a chest, a cell, a shop, a portal, and pets so those are the, your, your points of interest and i have all of that over here i may change this to yellow but i feel like it would go with the ground too much so i made it purple most chests you get gems from anyways so it's all good have this huge crevice thing back here with these bubbles i don't know if i like the particle too too much like i feel like maybe darken it just a hair Ooh, i think that looks a lot better actually like for what i was going for personally it's really easy to change if the person who gets this build um you know likes it like this they can keep it if they want to change it back to how it was they definitely can speaking of that guys every video or like every time i do one of these fixing fan builds Oh, I get so nervous because, like, what if they don't like it? Or what if it's, like, actually worse than what they made? Oh, I'd, I'd be getting real nervous out here. I'm not going to lie, all right? Let me... I want to drag this sign up. I, I think it would be cool if they're not all the same height. So, I have one of them over there. Let me show you guys. I have one over here that I put, like, kind of on top of this. I thought that was cool. And uh, this one's a little slanted on this hill here. I just don't want everything being the same height. But so far, this is looking pretty good. And I haven't touched any of their assets yet like we have some assets here to really fill in this map and i think i'm gonna have to make a chest because let's be honest every time we see this chest in a game we all cringe a little bit okay and that's no hate or anything to the guy who made this map it's just it's very overly used so that's all good 
I don't know if I'm even going to have paths in this or not. We'll have to wait and see for that one. Uh, I have to do pets still and decoration. So I think I'll get all the POIs done. Chest, shop, and pets. And then I'll add the decoration, guys. Let's go. All right, guys. So I've been doing pretty good. I've got a chest in right here. I've got the cell place. All good. All good. Doing really nice. I did change the lighting as well. It's a lot softer. It feels more underwater vibe. I do have a skybox that is like, you know, it looks, if you look up, you'll see water. So it's like an underwater skybox, but it does make it a bit dark. So I may or may not be using that. But here's what I got so far. I'm throwing a shop together right now. And this is the main reason I came back to the video because this grinds my gears. A lot of people say they have this color then they will pick a darker brick like this and it just to me oh it looks so bad all you got to do is come in here and drop it down a little bit okay like keep it uh pretty normal i don't think i'm even having bricks on this but just drop it down like don't do this i see this all the time literally look at yesterday's video rating fan builds i see that all the time just make it a little bit darker it would be lighter than these but darker than this okay just, just guys, guys, chill. Quit making the 50 shades of bricks, okay? It, it looks horrible. Uh, also, the shop sign, I feel like it needs to come... Uh, I don't know if it's even necessary, to be fair. So, I'm gonna keep it, and you can delete it if you want to. But it just seems a bit repetitive, since we have one on the actual shop as well. Uh, but beforehand, they didn't even have a building. Like, it was literally this. Oh, that was the cell spot. The shop was, was this. So, the same as the cell spot, pretty much. Just a different colored, uh ring but this is really looking pretty good i'm gonna get all the assets in all the decoration stuff i made a few variants over here and we have all of this stuff that i can work with i'm gonna start placing that stuff around and then i'll be back once again i know i keep jumping back and forth but i don't want to bore you guys with uh like actually building because it takes quite a bit of time uh ooh, i didn't group this shop i'm so dumb sheesh guys the update time look at this I think it's coming along very cool. What happened here? I actually must have deleted one of these. Why are all these off the ground? I must have had one of the uh, these little ground things down, but I don't see where I would put a ground thing. So I think I'm just gonna have to individually move all those pieces of grass onto the ground because yeah, I don't I don't necessarily see unless this maybe make this just come out a little bit like like this. I don't know how I had it. Now are they touching? They're still not, huh? All right, well, anyways, I got to fix the grass, but check out the map, guys. I think it's looking very, very awesome. We have our shop, our portal. I'm probably going to put, like, a big rock form here in the middle, uh, just something like that. And then I think we're pretty much done. Like, I'm so close to being finished with this thing. It's actually ridiculous. So let me kind of remove all of this stuff. Uh, we don't need it up here anymore. There we go. I'm going to fix this grass, which is going to be quite painstaking, to be fair. I'm going to have to select every single one. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be fun. But after I get that back on the ground, we should be looking pretty good. The map should be looking pretty good. And then I'll do a side-by-side -side so you guys can let me know in the comments below which ones you like better. And, yeah. Also, I do want to let you guys know, if you have a map that you want me to fix it is free by the way i don't charge anybody anything for this i just get a video out of it uh if you guys have a map that you want me to fix dm me on discord with a studio file so send me the game uh you can take out all your scripts ui everything like that just send me the builds and i also need a few screenshots of the map so i can look at it before i download it the main thing is if your game doesn't have any sort of a layout i probably won't do it like if there's no idea behind the game it's just boring it would be very very repetitive like if every game was just a simulator map like i mean this is a simulator map but you know if every game was just like a normal old simulator map with the same theme and everything like that it would just be boring to do and boring to watch so be mindful of that if you're sending over a map but I'm going to grab, let's say this guy right here, control C, control V, and put it right there in the middle. Perfect. Probably scale this down a hair though, because you know, we need space around it. And then I need to add some corals and some grass on top of the rocks. I don't know why brush tool quit working on top of stuff. It's kind of weird. So I don't know, maybe it's because it's in a model, but I'm going to do the finishing touches and then I'll be back, show you guys what's up. And hopefully you guys like this one better. 
All right, guys, I think I'm done with the map, okay? So here it is. Here's the old bird's eye view of it. All right, we have everything they had in their map, all the points of interest and everything like that. We've got a chest, a cell spot, a portal that is apparently coming soon. And we have the shop there, and then pets will go right here. I didn't put their little egg holders there because, eh, eh, it's okay. All right, it's okay. And uh, I think overall, aesthetically, it looks pretty good. Here's the new map. Here's the old one. So let me know which one you guys like better down in the comments below. Once again, if you would like me to fix up your map absolutely for free, all you got to do is send me the map file on Discord, send me a few pictures with it, and I'll add it to the list. It is very random which ones I pick. It is not a first come first serve. Simply, there's a folder on my computer called Fixing Fan Builds, and I open a random one whenever I want to do this, and I just go for it. So hopefully that clears everything up. But if you guys like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.